All right, guys, so earlier this week, former President Barack Obama um, did a sit-down interview with Anderson Cooper from CNN to, I don't know, discuss things, right? Like, I don't know what Obama's talking about nowadays. He's talking about all types of stuff, right? He's trying to sell books, right? Making money after being president, right? That's what all these guys become. They become hardcore capitalists after they get out of office, um, <laughs> even though they're getting a annual salary from the government for doing nothing. Okay, and I didn't really cover it because Obama is irrelevant for the most part, right? Uh, not too many people really care what he has to say. Now, I do care what he has to say about UFOs, okay? So I did cover that. But in regards to uh, what's currently going on in America, I, I really don't care that much because he's gone super woke, right? He, he's a lot more woke than he actually was uh, when he was president, okay? And again, it... It bothers me a little bit, right? It, it, that is what really bothers me about the Obamas. I think they really are dropping the ball uh, in regards to their potential to really help black America. Um, but instead, they, they fall in victim to the whole, you know, woke victim complex. But that's not what this video is about. Uh, Obama does his interview in which he, he basically makes some interesting claims about right wing media and how they supposedly stoke fear in white America, take a look. It is a hard thing to hear. Um, it, it's hard for uh, the majority in this country of white Americans to recognize that, look, uh, you, you can be proud of this country and its traditions and its history and our forefathers. And yet, it is also true that this terrible stuff happened. Uh, and that, uh, you know, the vestiges of that linger. I also think that there are certain right-wing uh, media venues, for example, that monetize and capitalize on stoking the fear and resentment of uh, a white population that is witnessing a changing America and seeing uh, demographic changes and, and do everything they can to give people a sense that um, uh, their way of life is threatened and that people are trying to take advantage of them. And we're seeing it right now, right? Where uh, you would think with all the public policy debates that are taking place right now, that you know, the Republican Party would uh, be engaged in a significant de debate about uh, how are we gonna deal with the economy and what are we gonna do about climate change and what are we gonna do about Lo and behold, the, the single most uh, important issue to them apparently right now is critical race theory. Who knew that that, <laughs> that was the threat to our republic? But those debates uh, uh, are powerful because they get at uh, what story do we tell about ourselves? All right, guys. So I, I have a lot to say about this because I think that Obama is really missing the mark here. The first thing he talks about is how White America, um, you know, doesn't want to accept the fact that um, you can be proud of this country, but at the same time acknowledge the bad things that happen in this country. Now, I don't know where he's getting this idea from that. I don't know. White America denies slavery or Jim Crow or the civil rights movement. I, I, I don't think that anybody is denying that. Now, I'm not white. I can't speak for white America. I'm just speaking for how i probably would perceive it <laughs> if i was white okay I, I i don't know if anybody's denying that slavery happened i don't think anybody's denying that jim crow happened i don't think anybody's denying that this country's past um you know has not necessarily been the greatest but i think what the point is is that we should not focus on the past but instead we should focus on the future of our country in which, despite our past, we still have become great. We still are the land of opportunity, even for those who have historically been marginalized, okay, and discriminated against. Despite all that, we still had the first black president, which was you, Obama, right? In which white America voted for you. If white America did not vote for you, then you would not be in office. So, I, I you know, I, I don't understand Obama's obsession we're talking about white people outside of trying to score woke points, okay? Because, again, I, I haven't heard white people deny history. They, they just say, listen, we don't need to focus on, you know, all the negative things when we have a future to look forward to. And really focusing on all the negative stuff, things that 
most of us did not go through, right? None of us lived through. It's not really helping. It's really what is dividing America. And speaking of dividing America, Obama also ironically talks about how, oh, there's certain right wing media outlets that are trying to monetize, make money off of putting fear in, in the hearts of white America. And my rebuttal to him would have been, wait, wait. So even if that's true, even if I give you that, where are they getting that ammunition? And is it justified? That's the real question. Are these right wing media outlets just making this stuff up or are they getting their ammunition from somewhere else? Also, are they right? You got people talking about um, how white people should give up their positions of power and that, you know, they're white supremacists and that the institution of America, which, again, is predominantly white, uh, white supremacist institution, according to these people, that should be torn down. Right. And how white people are inherently racist, how bad they are. This is what is on liberal media 24 seven. But yet you're sitting here wondering why white people may feel like the country is changing in a way that they might not like. <laughs> like, like, imagine if you was white and you heard all this stuff. What would you think? OK, and all this is coming from the liberal media. All this is coming from the woke revolutionaries. All of this is coming from people like you, Obama. So when people want to get mad at white folks for being afraid, well, I mean, there's a lot of reasons why. And all those reasons come from the liberal media. The right wing, you know, I'm assuming he's talking about Fox News. It would be very hard for them to monetize that or to play that narrative if the left wasn't saying the things they were saying. It's very easy to talk about considering that, again, this has become mainstream. Again, guys, that's insiders that came out of the military talking about how bad, you know, being a white male is, a straight white male, right? This is stuff that's not being made up. This is stuff coming from the left. And if you are a white person in this country and you hear something like that, what else are you going to think? It's the same thing when it comes to being a black person in this country. If you continuously hear that you're a victim and that, you know, you can't do anything, you can't get ahead in life and that white people are superior to you, then what are you going to think, Right? Most people are going to think that, oh, wow, this country is systemically racist and that I'm at a disadvantage and that I'm owed something because of what happened in the past, right? Because the liberal media has pushed forward this narrative that this country is bad and that we must change our institutions and foundations in order to make it better because it's all founded based off white supremacy, right? This is basically critical race theory, looking at history and our in institutions through the lenses of race. That's what it is. And that's all, again, coming from liberal academic institutions and liberal media. That's not coming from the right. So if you want to blame somebody for putting fear in white America, you should blame yourself. You should blame the liberal media. You should blame academia because they are the ones that are putting forth this rhetoric. You can't blame the right wing, right? <laughs> people like Fox News that go out here and say, uh, yeah, this is what these people are saying, right? Because it is, okay? I cover news every single day, and I'm like, damn, th this is kind of what they're saying, <laughs> right? It is. I mean, it is what it is. So again, th this is the thing that it, it bothers me when these liberal outlets always want to criticize Fox News for uh, trying to take advantage of white fear or whatever, right? And I'm like, well, I mean, again, who is the one that is putting out rhetoric that would make white people fear the direction this country is going in, okay? Okay. Obviously, the country is changing. Obviously, the country is getting more diverse, okay? Things are happening, right? We're moving forward into the future. And I would think that people will be a lot more comfortable with the direction that we're headed in the future if the left didn't define that future as basically being hostile towards white people, okay? And I think that's the real issue. And, and this, this is why I really fight back against this narrative, guys, so much because I see the danger in that. I see where that leads us as a country. It's not going to lead to a good place. What the left is doing is not good when a majority of your country is white and you're telling those people that, hey, we're going to tear down this country and these institutions because we think they're based off white supremacy. It's not a good thing to be telling people, right? <laughs> Same reason why critical race theory is not a good thing to teach kids, right? This stuff is not hard, okay? And by the way, White people are just not the only people who may or may not have 
uh, concerns about the direction this country is going in, right? Uh, there are people from all types of races who, that have concerns about the direction this country is headed in, okay? Because a lot of this stuff that's coming from the left not only just negatively impacts people by race, but also by gender and sex, by religion, by all sorts of things that are not just tied down to race, okay? I mean, we see a pushback against religion. We see a pushback against uh, being straight. <laughs> we see a pushback against being male, okay? We see a pushback against masculinity. We see a pushback on multiple fronts involving culture that a lot of people in this country, not just white folks, are uncomfortable with. <laughs> That's why you see so many minorities running to the Republican Party, running to the conservative movement, because they're like, ah, nah, 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 we're not down with all this, okay? That's why you see that happening, right? But the left don't want to acknowledge that they're losing people of color, right? They, they, don't, they don't want to acknowledge that. But that's what's happening because everybody's not down with that, right? Not just white people, people from all races. But I do think the Obama, to a certain extent, does have a point about, you know, Republicans being concerned about things like critical race theory and not so much things like, you know, the economy or climate change and stuff like that. But I have been critical of the Republicans for doing that. I, I do think that there are too many culture warriors on the right that are more concerned about culture than they are about the fact that, you know, the middle class in this country is being ripped off. Corporate America has bought and sold our politics, okay, that a lot of people are struggling and that, you know, we have moved away from um, you know, the average American being able to achieve the American dream to a certain extent, even though I do think this is still the land of opportunity, you know, it's much harder to start a family and to get a house and have kids and to send your kids to good schools. It's harder to do that in today's America, right? Than it once was. And, um, I, I think that's something that the GOP, um, is really missing an opportunity on because they focus too much on the culture. war. Well, I think if they focus more on economic issues, they focus on things like, you know, student loan debt, right? And uh, the cost of college, things that are going to be more relatable to a broader group of people. I think that they will be able to get more people on board with the movement because I think a lot of people are socially conservative, right? I think a lot of people are not that woke, okay? And I think the only thing that's really keeping um, the Republicans from gaining more ground is that they don't talk about healthcare enough. They don't talk about uh, student loan debt enough. They don't talk about college enough. They don't talk about real issues enough and i've been very critical to the republican party for that and i also think if the republican party focused less on the culture war and more economic issues i do think it would help with the race conversation because everything wouldn't be just focused on the bad things that democrats are doing in regards to race it'd be more focused on okay let's get an economy right in which everybody's going to be able to prosper and i think that that's a unifying message that the gop should probably try to get behind right if that's what they truly want to do if they want to unify you should unify through money right but i think the thing is is that culture is important right and i think that a lot of people to a certain extent do care about culture more than they care about the economy right now i'm more of an economy type of person but i talk about both i talk about the culture war and i talk about the economy okay i try to find balance there right i'm not a culture warrior per se, right? Even though I talk about it a lot, I try to balance both, okay? Because they're both important and you you can't ignore culture, right? Even in a good economy, um, culture is still important to a certain extent. And I think Ron DeSantis was making that point the other day in an interview. So President Obama here, I think that the liberal media and himself, these liberal politicians need to really look inward, right? If they're really trying to figure out why you know white people are fearful of change they should look at themselves and look at their rhetoric that they're they are putting out there and try to understand okay how am i contributing to this am i making the problem worse because i will argue that they are making the problem worse they really are so i want to comment on that because i have very strong opinions about what obama said but let me know what you guys think make sure you like comment and subscribe most importantly share a black conservative perspective peace